we'll have a look at the Outer Worlds. I got a key from Private Division earlier today, so thank you to Private Division for a key. I will probably review this game, but obviously it comes out tomorrow, so I would have to be incredibly quick. And something tells me I probably want to take my time with this game anyway, because the concept of Fallout New Vegas in space, which from everything I've seen so far, is basically what this is, is quite wonderful. So let's check it out. I have not really played it yet, I've just made my character, that took an hour. That's a good start. We're gonna make a new character though, so we're gonna try Supernova difficulty. I wish there was... customization for this stuff, because for the purposes of reviewing... something tells me this might be a really bad call. But, I mean, this is a no-def stream, so gotta go with this. So, this is the good Dr. Phineas, I believe. Yes, it is. That's important. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Now, the reason that's important is because the first thing we're going to do is backstab him. At least, I think that's possible. So let's find out. So what I want to do with this is basically do the opposite of what my main character will be for the purposes of my first playthrough. Which, so far, what I did was maximize intelligence. You'll need all your wits to save your fellow colonists. Gives you critical damage, so that's pretty interesting. Because I think that just means it works with everything. It also gives you Persuade, and Science, and Hacking. All things I like in Fallout New Vegas. So presumably in this too. And then I went High Dexterity for one-handed melee. And I went High Charm. And I think I went Low You're Perception. As subtle as yes. the space's choice mascot. So I roughly based my concept of my first playthrough on, let's see, his name doesn't rhyme with um, Bias Galtar, and my goal definitely isn't to just seduce every robot in space. So we're going to do the opposite of that, meaning we're going to do low intelligence, oh which, dear, you spelled your name with a five. which unlocks dumb dialogue options. So that's perfect for Twitch chat. Pretty low strength in my main playthrough, so we might as well go you high on that. You shouldn't have any trouble digesting our food. Go full brute build. Face is the place, after all. Again, Twitch chat run. Perfect. Okay, we'll do that. Then we don't need dexterity, I guess. I just hope your brain's quicker than your hands. It does reduce its XP. Let's keep that on average. Twitch chat brute. So that's perfect. So let's see. Here we have the actual skills. Our 200 melee should be pretty good. 25. We already... Have the first unlock power and sweep attacks. What I wouldn't pay to see you challenge the chairman to fisticuffs. We need five more, so we can't actually unlock that. We don't need that. We don't have any defense. Reflexes of a bristling canid. So again, in my main playthrough, I have very high science, very high hacking, and one-handed melee. I guess we'll just keep it on this. We could. Uh, do we need this? We don't. Just do this. Ah, a blunt force trauma specialist. I might have a job. And then you pick you. an aptitude. That's also another reason why we're doing all the weird and wacky choices. I assume most people won't pick those in their first or second playthroughs. Presumably, it's going to be as few spoilers possible because it's quite different. I assume from uh, most people's playthroughs, and from what eventually I'll do as my main playthrough. We got a randomize button. Wonderful. Oh yes. Looks like you can play undead as well, or ghouls. Cryo sleep really works well, turns out. Excellent. We're a dirty mercenary. I 
really like the presentation so far. <sighs> Shit. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Lovely. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship sizable is bounty. inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! One we're definitely going to collect. I'm sure he's doing this out of the goodness of his heart. Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... all the colonists are counting on you. Ah, you've landed good! This looks really Hawthorne good so far. should be close by. What in law's name? That looks Is a little him? less good oh, so far. Idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Does he have a gun? Hawthorne Important questions first. Ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Suppose not. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Yes, who nice would go after go. the bounty? Thank you, game, for reminding me twice thus far. This looks safe. Use the emergency medical inhaler to heal. Right, and we have ten more of those. Hey, you, come here. Hey, You've buddy. tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Yeah, yeah, that marketing stinks too. Let's help him out, just so we get more information. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. And XP. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. What happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, You right? have a gun, you say? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. You're hiding in a cave and you blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters He's a moron. the entrance? Got it. Marauders come sniffing around in here and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Mm. You're an idiot. Give me your gun. Yeah, you sound a lot like my lieutenant. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Here, you can have my saber too, Ooh, for patching nice. me up and all. All Spacer's yes. Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. 
Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> I found him that way, honest. I'm not a monster. Look how cute they are. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. Standing still drains your TTD meter. Slowly. Right. Ah, that's the purple bar. Got it. But to be fair, this is literally... Yeah, so I can't- I couldn't even block that on time because it's very slow. So now there's three of them, and I'm stuck. Granted, I've not been using time dilation that much. You gotta suffer. Yeah, there's a awkward delay between swapping. Not sure why. They still take damage if I parry. He's doing fine. Well, that's a relief. You don't want to know how much paperwork's involved in paying off a gravesite fee. Oh, yeah, paperwork. We'll see him back Terrible. to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's now, made Spacer's choice. I kind of don't want her to kill them because I want to try and kill her. I just, you know, because I want the gun. A couple of winks to catch my breath, stretch my legs, son. So something tells me she might be too tanky. Do you have a gun, Kimball? <clears throat> okay. Light assault rifle. That's more like it. Just doing her duty. Welcome to the perk selection on this screen. You can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a perk to spend every two levels. By accepting a flaw. Right, so I don't think there's a perk for weapon swapping. Because I would love to have that, because that feels pretty bad. Unlock the abilities of fast travel when encumbered. Walk speed, sprint speed, walk speed. Okay. Carrying capacity. Yeah, these are very baseline perks. Companion crit chance. How noticeable is something like that? I guess that's good for charisma builds. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Armor consumable and status effects can temporarily raise or lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks, but it won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Right. That's actually a lot of marauders. really worth killing her for those five bullets. Yeah, you do not reload fast in time dilation. Now 
Oh, uh, hopefully. Okay, we're not getting ammo for this gun. Selecting your destination. But I think on this difficulty we can only fast travel to our ship. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Sounds Smile like a lie. My surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. I like her already. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do? Gesture procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarded parties in five, four, We're on the ground. Three, two, one. Getting shot into space twice in one day, that's a dumb choice. If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed We're too to stupid to be lied to. Nod and smile. Excellent. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I'm a little disappointed that having the dumb dialogue choices doesn't change the existing ones. The navigation ones. console is offline at this time, Captain. Is this meant to look like a space odyssey? Hmm. Yes, I trust this ship already. If you possess a power regulator, please insert the part into the appropriate slot, which is this one. If you're a toss ball stick, 66. Whitman is in need of repair or modification. The Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Sawed off shotgun. The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor. Can we modify this? Install mod? We don't have any, right? Hey, buddy. I have a pretty bad track record of keeping I'll people alive. You, I'm Ernie from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? They tripped. The guards accidentally brutally shot themselves while on patrol. Accidentally brutally shot themselves, huh? Unbelievable. Second yeah. time this month. Guess I'd better get to cleaning up. Guard life is rough. Can't just leave company property scattered about, bleeding out on the dirt. Yeah, clean up the ship while you're at it. Is that an official Spacer's Choice spacecraft on an official Spacer's Choice landing pad? Do I look like an auto mechanical sanitation unit? The answer to both questions is no. I don't like yeah, your well, life expectancy here, Ernest. To earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Yes. Oh, and uh, might want to help someone with my aggressive for disposition. Tuna. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. I want to ask don't you something. Don't get paid bits to chat with strangers. You want to chew the rag? Go talk to Silas over by the cemetery. Fine. In that case, let me ask you something with this blunt object. <laughs> Criminal activities, trespassing, lockbreaking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal. Who knew? 
are frowned upon by society. Who knew? Poor Ernest. But this is 15. That's not a lot. That's a lot. So you're locked into your, um, at least on this difficulty, you're locked into your weapon type pretty quick. Can I do six minimum? You're thirsty. With supernova difficulty, you must drink every few hours to prevent dehydration. Without drinking, your dehydration will get worse over time in four stages, reducing your dexterity, perception, and intelligence before death. Six hours of sleep. I want to go to space so I can at least get six hours. Be nice. Time. How does it work? Yeah, this looks great though. Very colorful. Endosite. Two times scope. Whisper quiet muzzler. And a bolter pistol. 122 and whatever that means. Laser damage? Energy? Ooh, fancy. Okay, I will say one thing for Spacious Choice. They have really stylish helmets. Which, they were kind enough to let me borrow, so... Maybe they're not so bad after all. Monkey Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why. Is Seems we've got a guest. Oh. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Yeah, that may have something to do with the corpses. I'll wait until you're finished. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just. Old. Sorry, I I'm sorry. I'll I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Todd oh, is liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. I charge by the head. Mostly caved in heads. Good law, no. I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My Kill them all. is that by cutting Got off it. their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so... It's this way if she dies, we can get the goggles. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank Always you gotta think ahead. Help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. You've gained a companion. They are characters that join you in your adventure and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support, their skills enhance your skills, they increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill. She has an impact hammer. I have an impact hammer. Let's 
keep her arranged. Can I give her the... So presumably, right? I can give her the... Sold rifle? She doesn't seem to have... Oh, she does have those. Melee damage, range damage. No, she doesn't have weapon skills. 21? 23, okay. So I guess she can use that. This. Now that is a fancy looking hammer. Like design-wise, so far they're really not gonna get out of the park even. What he said seemed pretty straightforward to me. Because I'm a very smart cookie. Sure, it all comes together seamless in his own head. And I reckon he means well, for all that. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. This looks great, though. It's so colorful. Come on. That's a good marauder. Hey, bud. Here we go. In one shot. That's an issue. Did I do four damage there? She's down again? No, what's she, what does she do? What is this ability? Okay. Oh right, on this difficulty they die. They die really quick. That's right, they got permadeath on this difficulty. So, about those goggles, miss? Just get her back, I guess. Passive. Defensive. Passive only attacks targets the companion has been explicitly told to. Once told to attack a target, the companion continues to fight until the combat is over. Always engaged in attacks. Okay, let's keep her on defensive. There is a shiny, but I realize I'm getting distracted by everything, but again, I feel like I'm just role-playing my character. Alright, I'm seeing a shiny, glowing hologram. I gotta go there. I always wanted to poke around in here. Exactly. Unexpected. Investigating. Uh, here they come! Never mind. Trying to conserve ammo here, but yeah, that doesn't do much anyway. Maybe fighting these, it's not a great call. Then again, as I said, we're just roleplaying. Please don't go into combat. Okay, she's not. Okay, you can attack this one. Attacking. 
Kill it. Thank you. Fancy. So that's the C ability. So this is really a moment where you want to autosave and then tell her Hey, moving out. Go. But considering we can't do any of that. I'm disappointed in our lack of science. Delivery yes it did. Um, Mr. Thompson said to talk with Miss McDevitt before doing anything here? Yeah, but I don't care. Yeah, huh? Oh. Mnemonic parts. Guess that's for weapon crafting. Is this random? Melee weapon skill plus five. I guess that's worth one armor. Plus it looks great. Really fits the helmet. Okay, so regardless of their location, where did she go? That's a really good ability. It's just a teleport stun, nothing personal, and then she just stuns them. Let's do that again. That's actually crazy. I'm just upset. A poor robot. No, 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 just leave me alone. You're not real. You're not real. No, 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 just leave me alone. No, 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 just leave me alone. Wonder if you even go here if you do the uh Quest the other way. Go away, Phantom. There's clearly there's something down here. Go away, Phantom. No, 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 just leave me alone. Hi, Higgins. You seem perfectly normal. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot, scram. Phantoms? Where? You can talk? The Phantoms never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting- Important life lessons. This no, Phantom's got a name? can't possibly be a hallucination. You're much too dense. Thank you. Not at all, my corporeal friend. Ghosts aren't Higgins dense. Is my name. Makes sense. The logic checks out. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Clever. How long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Definitely not insane. Talking in third person? Very normal. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, mm -hmm. Aetherwave mm -hmm. Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Yeah, Saltuna Critic is very impressive. You were an engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, You did a sentries. great job. 
repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all for my old workroom just over in the next section. What happened? Mechanicals lost their bolts, opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. And you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Yeah, he doesn't always talk in third person. It's interesting. I can't even spell mechanicals. Checkmate. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. <clears throat> Select new target. That's always the right option. Define intruder. Define intruders as spacer's choice auto mechanicals. Excellent. So now we get a perk too. I want the speed one. Fly. And is there anything we need here? Two-handed melee weapon attacks are unblockable. I don't think they've ever been blocked. Thus far. Dodge recovery speed. Just the wind. I could just do this though. This ability seems insane. I wonder if you can um, turn off the animation. Especially because that would allow you to just damage them while she's doing the animation. I guess not. That's a really short cooldown as well. So if they're all that good, do you get more? Because then a charisma build might actually be really good. Just for skill bonus to player skills. Okay. A companion skill and enemy, the party gains critical hit chance. Companion skill and enemy, all companion ability, cooldowns reduction. So uh, they don't seem to get more skills. They just become better at it. Two more. What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the vent? Who cares? <laughs> I was not sent here to care. Once we do this, there's no- Hey, listen. Sorry, I, I know you're in a hurry. I, I know you want your power regulator and all. I just feel like we should go talk to Adelaide. If we're gonna kill her power, the least we could do is give her people a fair warning. Thanks for sharing, but you're not giving me your goggles, yeah. so- Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. So you're not really uh, in any position to argue.
Oops. Ooh, vendor price reduced. Worth it. Oh. Hi. I figured whoever cut off that power was gonna come here to salvage something. Too smart to be a marauder. That must mean Reed sent you. Too smart? This is all you're doing. Cutting Are you sure? Off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. Yeah, it doesn't sound like I my problem. I want to ask you it? this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Well, there were things to hit with a hammer. And I do like pressing buttons, so... Are you really this moronical, or are you just putting on air? You just called me smart lady. Here, whole head? Which one I'm is it? I'm only gonna say this once. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Is that an invitation? She doesn't really have anything to like. Oh. What do you think you're doing? You know, whatever I want. Carry on. Exactly. Carry on. Maybe when a madman with a glowing electrical hammer who just decided to doom your entire settlement takes a few scraps, just leave him be. Oh yeah, so uh, you're gonna starve. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Whoa. Miss Parvati, <laughs> you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you, hi, hi, hi. Smooth. Uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... This is too Wait, awkward. They didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this lady here. Yeah, the plan was, three hours ago, to make a playthrough that is completely different to how my main playthrough will be. In many ways, the complete opposite. Thus far, it, uh, it led us to screw over an entire village and mainly beat people with a hammer. So, good times. Now, I'm hoping... I can kind of sell out the professor to this guy, maybe. This is a fine day. Since we're such good buddies Power now. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Her followers will come back. That's good enough for me. Adelaide and I have a history. It was unlikely she'd ever come back. But hope springs eternal. We are in your debt. I am authorizing you for a discount on all official Spacer's Choice products, courtesy of the people of Edgewater. Um... This'll be fine. Whoop, oh, okay, maybe not. Quick doggy. Oh, don't die. Just stun him. Man, that stun is insane. No, 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 keep her alone. We made it. Corporate Corporation Service Award, a medium-sized award typical of the kind given out to annual company achievement. Banquets galaxy-wide. Mr. N. Change the damage type dealt to N-ray damage. Tremor Cleaver. Oh, well, that was a special mob. And it almost ate Parvati. 
So that's fun. So now we have... Nice! War Armor 40k. Let's go. Yeah, you didn't seem happy. Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I'm not sure happy. if joining the ship of an ex-murder no. hobo but is going to change that, but... I, with you? I could tend your to your engine. Funeral. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Does it get me the goggles? Oh, Ada. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest yes. your time in the local community. Yeah, that's one way to phrase it. What can I do for you, Captain? I have a power do you regulator. Know how to install a power regulator? Of course I do. Uh, can you not jump into ladders? Are you kidding me, Obsidian? All right, I'm uninstalling. That is that is the final straw. If I can't do parkour, what has this been for? What have we been building towards? This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. All right, Phineas. I hear there's a bounty on your head. And my ship clearly needs upgrades. Good. I've been waiting to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. You want me to wear a cape? Wrong no capes. Wrong matter of shroud, my slow-witted accomplice. This is, um, how to put it simply... Interesting how we can I find this in our quarters. I thought it, uh... Different, sound different. Briefly. thought he went to Mixer. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. But it's a lie. It's a very impressive game. Look at this. A hard cider for a hard life. That's what I mean. The only thing I'm not liking so far is the sluggish nature of the combat. But in terms of an impressive atmosphere, it's nailing it for sure. But yeah, this has been a look at the Outer Worlds, and man, it looks beautiful. It is definitely one of the most visually impressive games I think I've played in a while. Not necessarily for graphical fidelity, but for style. It's a really stylish game. The only thing I'm not sold on at all is the combat thus far. And if you're still on the fence, I'll try and get a review out for this, hopefully somewhere next week. Early next week, I hope. But yeah, this has been a three and a half hour look at the Outer Worlds.